All right, that's it. First week of teaching done back in sixth grade. Man, I love my job. What's so up guys, welcome back to the Teach Me Teacher YouTube channel where we talk about reading and writing workshop. This is gonna be more of a vlog. This isn't really gonna be a how-to or anything or discussion. It's really just gonna be me reflecting on Friday afternoon, right after all my sixth graders left. You know, and I know back to school can be stressful for a lot of people, especially if you're a newer teacher. But I just gotta say, I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing in life. Like I can't be any more happy, you know, and I think some people who aren't as happy, it's hard to, it's hard for people to believe that. For people that aren't as happy in their roles or in their jobs, I think it's really hard for some people to understand just how satisfying, like I really do feel. And I just, like my kids were amazing. I love interacting with sixth graders. I think they're the best humans on the planet. I love seventh and eighth graders too. But there's something magical about that sixth grade. There's something magical about creating learning experiences that they've never had before. If you read my book, Teach Me Teacher, I talk about how one of the things I got from the Ron Clark Academy was learning to, to be impactful on a kid's life by being unique. That doesn't mean you have to jump on tables, doesn't mean you have to have lights and music everywhere. It means you have to be so uniquely you that kids walk away from something from you remembering. You know, for me, there's there's a couple active things that I choose. I love to set up my classroom. The whole last video is about that. I love having lights and I love making it super inviting for kids. You know, I dress up so they remember that, oh, that yeah, my English teacher is that guy that wears the suit. And I love jumping up on the desk and being loud and proud but I also just love smiling and giving that energy and turning on some music every once in a while. modern music not piano music nothing against piano music but I love playing modern music and bonding over singing songs together or dancing in the hallway as they're coming in I think that stuff is just so magical and it's it's so amazing to me by once my kids start opening up you know in their writing for instance there was so many kids who wrote about being in my class that's what they decided to write about I didn't tell them what to write about I didn't give them topics one of my lessons that I'm going to talk about in another video how we talked about understanding how setting affects characters and plot in our reading but then we took that and we decided to figure out how to make that in our writing how do we use setting to influence readers the readers that are going to read our piece whether it's me or someone else and a lot of my kids chose the strong setting as my classroom and but in that they described how much fun they were having and it was that's the stuff that when kids willingly write about you or willingly reach out to you or willingly tell you that your class is their favorite or you're their favorite teacher and stuff like that that means something uh, especially especially for kids that statistically have bad experiences in school I just can't praise it enough I just the moment I went over a student especially if they're resistant. I've had a few, but the moment I went over, I can always tell. The smile's bigger. When they're walking down the hallway, they're moving fast. And I think that's the key. If we can reach every kid like that, if we can get kids to want to come into our space, want to walk down the hallway fast, you don't have to worry about tardies if they want to get to your class. You don't have to worry about kids being absent if they want to show up because they don't know what crazy thing you're going to do next. You know, for me, Friday at the end of the first week is always kind of a bittersweet thing. One, you know, I still have energy. I want to keep going. I want to teach tomorrow. I want to teach the next lesson. But at the same time, the moment I can pause, I realize how tired I am because teaching is an exhausting profession. And, you know, I don't think you're doing it right if you're not tired. But at the same time, it's a good tired. I love the way I feel. I love this, this drained but fulfilled existence that I have right now. And Friday for me, you know, it's a time for me to go home and reflect and think about this weekend, about what I want to do and plan my workshops that are coming up. And we got some great plans and I'm going to share some of those with you guys. But it's also the start of two days without my students. And I don't know if you're like me, but I really love what I do. I love it more than anything. I think teachers are the most powerful sources of good in the world. I think teachers have the power to save students' lives. And I think teaching and being a teacher in a kid's life is one of the greatest honors that we could ever be given. And I'm so thankful that I'm back at this campus. I'm so thankful that I get to do this. I'm thankful that I have kids that show up to my class. I am thankful that I get to set lesson plans. And I'm thankful I have to follow district regulations and all these other things because that means I'm doing the job of teaching.
I'm thankful that I get 800 emails a day. I'm thankful I have kids asking me questions in the hallway. I'm thankful that I have kids pushing the boundaries of the rules of my class because that means I'm teaching. It means I'm a teacher. And I can't wait to share more with you guys, but that's about all the time I have for today. Next Friday, we're gonna continue discussing reading writing workshop. I'm gonna share some of the ways that I'm setting up my workshop lessons. So if you are down to hear that, um, then please stick around, hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment, tell me how your weeks went or tell me how you're planning your week if you are not back just yet. Are you enjoying it? What's it like? How's that stress level? Hopefully you're managing it well. Part two with Kelly Gallagher is coming out on Monday of the podcast, so don't miss that. And then we got our next video on Friday. Thank you all for coming with me. I know some of you guys are from the podcast and some of you guys are from other parts connected to Teach Me Teacher. Wherever you're from or wherever you're watching, thank you for watching. Thank you for being an educator. And let's keep this journey going. As always, have a good one.